was nice. That was nice. Hi everybody, my name is Jessica Holyfield. I'm a professional dancer, professional dance choreographer, and dance educator based out of the Southeast of the United States. And I get to officially watch one of ATS's group choreographies. I had not seen it up until this point. I've seen like five of their stuff, but not a single group one. So I'm very excited about this and it's their debut. I also know if this is your first time on my channel, I'm Jess, like I've mentioned. Um, I go and I just, I love dance. We look, we take a look through um, the realm of whatever routine we look at, whether it's K-pop, anywhere from D-League, Street Dance China, reality dance shows, things of the like. And we just go through it and I go back and I analyze it, just kind of seeing why maybe judges may judge a certain way or just the overall aesthetic of the group. And I try to stay objective about it too. So I'm not really fans of most K-pop groups. My, my realm stems mostly from Gen 2. Um, but this is still very, very fun for me that I get to take a look at ATs because I'm actively doing a marathon because it's 2023 at the time I'm recording this. And this is obviously not 2023 where this track came out. So I get to really see how ATs has grown from their inception as pre-debut because I've already seen all the pre-debut stuff all the way through until they have been so I'm caught up on their most recent stuff. So I can't wait. I am actually, I think I'm getting sick <laughs> and I'm using my voice a lot. So that's why I sound like this. I should produce a mixtape because of the slower octave. We'll see, <laughs> but let's go ahead and check it out. Treasure. <laughs> Wow. expecting from the beginning. That was nice. That was nice. Very stable. and pull on speed changes is really fun to see too.
color for him. Oh, yay for 80s. I love them doing their own stuff way more than them doing other people's choreo. And what I mean by that is, yes, they're technically doing other people's choreo, but they're not doing it onto a track that's also not theirs. It's not multiple facets of things that aren't theirs. The track is theirs. The, the formations and the essence of what this choreo was built for was for them. And that's why it reads way better. So I'm definitely, I'm happy. I'm happy with with what I just saw. Really great debut. I also know this too. There was a couple of moves that they did in here that felt that that really dated it to the era that it came out. So I'm curious as to how their choreography is going to ebb and flow because I know that they had they had did a little bit of stint with Ange. I uh, don't quite know who the choreographer was for their debut era. So if y'all can let me know that would be great. Um but I am very familiar with they worked with different groups i really do like the choreographer that they had for this it's it, it it vibes well it does feel like a typical k-pop boy group but remember i'm operating out of a 2023 lens of a lot of what i was exposed to post you know like this is 2018 ish this is very nice very well done especially for the time period that they k released it's more on the innovative side in comparison to like a standard do you know what i mean like they are one of the groups that helped you know n17 and bts and there's a lot of groups that i would even say there was a there was a group boyfriend i think for them there was like one routine that they did and it was very clean so when it comes to the more complex clean dynamics they there i must i'm gonna add them in there as as a group that had to walk so other groups could run because we all know gen 2 went and pulling this mess that's for sure i mean shiny maybe you know but they they didn't have this many numbers also i find it so interesting that they are a group of eight most agencies will not release an even number group because it's harder to feature your people without having to sacrifice somebody else to be on the back end or to maintain symmetry so they did a really good job we noticed that they really used levels to their advantage because you start with a three-part tier which is great that's why you have levels is that you're able to showcase multiple people at once from the top of this I like the moment of having everybody react and I believe my feature is the only one that's still so I think that's really fun and they're all having noticed that there's uh, those that are standing or going up on their uh, off of their heels my dancers who have their hands across his eyes they're using their they're using their shoulder and they're accenting it up and allowing it to kind of reverberate down and then those that are down are doing it with their bodies so it's interesting that they all have to make slightly different choices um but that's what gives it that subtlety and different effect about it and they have a little um a little legato body roll that's coming out of it which is really nice that tailors well this part's really fun that's, that was a very, very fun part, starting from here and then here and then here. He's doing something very simple, but that's the beauty of when you do traces or when you do uh, triggers or you do those types of hovering responses where when you do one kind of magic trick illusion where this hand is supposed to control. My hand doesn't do anything. This one doesn't do anything when I make my weight, but it looks like it's controlling the energy. That's what kind of perception you want to give people. Is he controlling them? No. Does it give them the appearance? Yes, and people care more about that than the reality sometimes. So that was really, really fun to see this moment. And I know he builds it with everybody. Boom, sliding it up, having them go down, boom, really nice. And then having him protrude a little bit more forward and having the other two kind of separate was a great choice. Came up, love the choice of my back. Even though he's not featured, he still created a great moment for the feature because he allowed his arms to go up, allowing them to come up. So it gives them structure in their dynamic while he is able to maintain being the feature without having to do anything extra on top of singing, which is great. But uh, he's still controlling at the same time. So you would actually they maintain that visual of I'm controlling everybody all the way through here, but there's also others that are accenting through the control, which helps. This was great. This is another great example. They do a good job of maintaining their level. So I, I think it's a good job on the choreographer and the team who did this track because it's really important to maintain levels when 
you just and being in unison for most of your track is just not nearly as practical um and you're not going to be as engaging either especially when we're teetering onto the 2018s into the 2020s people are their attention span for crazy stuff <laughs> no pun intended but uh, for really in, uh, captivating things it's not quite as it's it's strained you know because of our oversaturation of media Right. I mean, it's great. We get to have these types of opportunities like me doing this, but but, you know, the, the, it still stands. It's very saturated. Some people don't ever want to watch this part of my videos because they only want to see my reaction in this side or the other. And that's totally fine. That's why I have both. So but going from here, I really like the choice of having the levels dropping low. Really important for my front line to drop really low. My second line to drop of this to be up and then drop about midline. So we see that difference. But then notice my back row stayed up. My middle, my front now went to the middle and they went low, creating a really, really nice, uh, he, they created separation between those two straight um, standing lines, which was great. And notice that they're trying to be very, um, more like a, they're keeping their, po not their posture, but the level that they're walking, they're trying to keep the same. Because normally when you walk, there's a natural bounce, so there's purpose behind how they're walking. It's not quite a glide, but they are using a gliding concept to make sure that whenever they are stepping, there's that extra tension or that pull of energy as they navigate. So it's very similar to um, whenever you play that game where, it's, it's where you like pick up the little balls and you're it's snake whenever you play snake. But like the newer ones where you can curve, it kind of has that kind of tension about it. Um, not old school snake, but new ones. That right there, boom, doon, doon, having that double hit there was a really great choice because it separates from what we saw, what we saw in the beginning. Mm. Da, 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 boom, boom, boom. Really great. So we signified and we hit that da, 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 boom, boom, boom. And we hit that triple hit there, but in a different way, which I really like. And then right here, I do think, I mean, a lot of people are saying they do have a sense of individuality. I do see that. And it's appropriate in some of these contexts. Does, can I ignore the fact that not everybody's range is on the same page here? No, because if you notice how they're transitioning, not everybody's hitting in the same way in the chest, not everybody's having the proper range in their arms. Here's the thing, every single group in a dance practice is gonna have a note like that. Because why? It's a dance practice, right? So it's just an overall, like, you don't have a mirror you're looking at, this is what it looks like, this would be your feedback. You know, for me, I, I like dance practices because we get to see a more raw, one take, I prefer one takes because I get to see it in its entirety and they don't have to sing so they're not overcomp they're not uh, modifying anything for the sake of singing. I just get to see them dance, you know? So I, I would say I really get to see the chronic, the chronic isms of a group like ATs when I see this. So notice that some of them, their pull, their energy, that da, da, are more the subtle movements or, or not subtle, but the smaller, more intricate movements. Boom, 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 like with that triple. It did look like a sugar, but I wouldn't call it a sugar, that DDD. D, D. Uh, it wasn't clear with everybody. It, and it just felt more like a move that everybody was doing versus it was very clean and clear where the direction of the angles were for the legs. Also, when they go boom, shh, here. So you could tell everybody's on the same page in the upper body, which is great, but notice that some of them are pushing that head more forward. Some are tilting the head. Those are little things that that make a difference in the overall cleanliness of a in sync unison section. Like for here, he's not really leaning forward at all. He's more isolating with the shoulders, pressing them up. He's pushing that head forward. He's pushing and tilting the head forward. And also look at the feet. I know I caught them when they're moving, but you should even, even the range going from point A to point B should be clean as well. So noticing here, all of them have, it looks like they did establish, this looks like a third position where you have the heel in the middle of the foot. Right here, he's having a feature. I'm not really thinking through what he's doing. He's complimenting whatever's happening. And then here, there are, some of them are grabbing with a fist, some are flat-handed. Those are just like little baby, baby things that if you want to clean, uh, if you want a routine to be like squeaky clean, like there's clean, and there's like squeaky clean, like almost militant and not robotic, but like the part of your captivation, like just jerk clean, you know, is how I would call it, even though they do robotic technique, but I digress. Um, if you want to like squeaky clean when you clean a routine, it's you look at those little things. But it's also really fun for me at this point in time, the fact this is their debut and I get to talk about details, like really have to dig in and find details, not the overall, ooh, that timing was really off. So they get a, they get a, I acknowledge that this was a, this was a good debut track for them. It was.
Yeah, I already see improvement from them from what I've seen from their pre-debuts. This just feels way more their vibe. Notice too the range of their legs. Some of them have it about shoulder length apart. We're looking at elbow. I think elbow is going to be more comfortable and more stable and it matches what their feature does a little bit more. So that would be my recommendation for those who are chilling more in the shoulder length apart to separate a little bit more. Because going up and then down, that would have looked a lot bigger because they are set up with wider. And also notice here, he's in a more squat position because he set up his in the elbow length apart. He didn't have to modify it as much as what he had to do. This was a nice transition of your two features. Yeah, boom. And I love that. So he had a more, um, more attackable tone and so they attacked it and they matched the energy with their foot with their fundamentals like I can tell that they are training in, in more of that popping style but some of these movements though those sequences as they bring it up just need to be refined just like what I was making a note of it was Melvin Tim Tim's and Mikey Delavala's choreo that was their performance three I made the same note for me whenever you're gonna do anything super intricate or a lot of moves or independent moves in succession, you have to make sure in unison, everybody is on the same page down to the freaking finger. And it's really tedious, don't get me wrong. It's so freaking tedious, but it is effective when applied effectively, you know? So it is nice to have these energies that boom, boom. It's little things like that, like it hit them folks, and then we see the shoe, and then I, when we get to it, I'll see if I catch it again. But I felt like we had a little front glide action happening in this one. That really was a knock, knock. That was a fun moment there. And then over into like a little tone wop. It was like a tone wop into a, into a lock-in. Like they were setting up to do a little lock-in to finish it out. But it didn't feel so, it felt rushed. So personally for me, I wish that they made that more of a moment because lock-ins are meant to be moments, like exclamation points at the end of your set. So whenever people add them as transitions, as long as, I mean, for me, and that's just more of a preference thing, but also there's a cultural, a cultural awareness of, of light feed and the key elements that are re in regards to it, having a lock-in, but Definitely. making it so stagnant, I think, um, as just movement, I really feel like at least change the arms if, you know, uh, to make it not, not have to tailor to light feed and be held to that. They did tone wall twist and then they kick. Yeah, dun 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 dun. So they did they did good, but they didn't like actually pop off. And they absolutely could have. I know they're walking around like these two could have totally boom boom and they could have like projected themselves to the side. That's my point. So because there was a base there to help with that. And so I'm not saying all of them should have done that. They should there should have been there should have been a bigger moment for their lock in, personally. Uh having having this moment here really nice it's good that he's the only one who didn't use his hands and everybody else did it's very easy for me to catch who our feature was this was nice and all of them dropping down having your feature come out from the back so far really great job of using an even number i'm very impressed <clears throat> Yeah, 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 yeah. He pulls. Now we're introducing to the front, and they have an energy build up. Here's our first course. That little boom, drop. Now, he's one of the only ones that's not wearing black, so it was actually easier to see what he was doing compared to everybody else. So that's also something that I'm curious to see as they as they continue to grow as a group. How is their fashion going to be affected? Are they going to be wearing certain outfits you like I'm really only gonna look at the dance practices I'm not looking at Halloween costumes or any like certain versions I'm looking at just the dance practices of these <clears throat> but even in the dance practice I even mentioned this when I was uh, reacting to 17 what they would wear does affect the overall tone of the type of track based on the performance and execution of what they wear so if they wear more neurotic toned pieces like black or gray then it's going to read more serious but if they wear brighter colors it's going to have a sense of hope behind it because colors there's a reason why it's called tonal color because there's a color grade system that happens in music that you know i i'm still studying that but anyway i think it's really fun so that there is association between colors to to sound so <clears throat> i think it's, it's i'm interested to see what's naturally going to change very intense in his presentation. That was fun having them come out, that pull through. Now it's all doing the same thing. <clears throat> Notice that we we have the whoa. Well, there's really no usage of the torso at all here, but it looks like everybody is doing the choreography, not just everybody who's not singing. So I understand why they made that choice. Everybody else, though, I would think it's if he chooses to to just kind of modify it. 
using the torso when you do that in opposition it's going to make it look more natural versus mechanical <clears throat> instead of it just looking like content that pull down was nice with the drop down of the hand that bleed through boom and then hit this is an example of just range of their upper body it's going to be an overall note i give them and i'm going to be looking at over the duration of watching all their dance practices <clears throat> is how does their how does their arms how do they get better? How do they modify them? How do they improve? <clears throat> because even the range here, notice some of them had it connected, some of them had it separated. That creates a completely different look and line. So in the unison section, that kind of stuff matters. <clears throat> also there, notice one of them grabs, some of one of them did here. So there's not a lot of clarification that they focus here as much as they do on the rest of the body. <clears throat> That'll take time though. The dropping in the energy, da 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 da, great way to transition it. Melting it through. Yeah, that da 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 Melt, because we had them do, that would have looked better if they were lower, if my two in front were lower, because they they show, they, they're show they already showing they know how to work with levels and transitions and work with levels and content. So for me, I would naturally, it feels like we're a little too stagnant in unison with the same level. Um, and all of them tend to be around the same. Like they have a pretty decent height range. Like there's not anybody significantly shorter than somebody else. So you don't have to look at that type of symmetry. Like it is very symmetrical. But if these two dropped to midline right here, where they go like a lot lower because they're not singing, that's the only reason why I say that. If they were singing, it'd be different. But if they were lower and everybody else stayed up, then I think it would have read a little bit, um, it would have felt more full there and it wouldn't feel so content based. But that drop right there was nice. So they go, da 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 da, they could have gone up. And then if anything, it would have, would have looked like an add on. They all drop down, they all transition. That was a really, really great moment from him having him swing and then move around. That was a great moment. I love the energy right there, a little bit of angst in there. I love this hair color in general. That is a great hair color. And now I feel like, um, <clears throat> and I know hair color, I mean, sometimes depending on the group, it just some, some people, it's their time to wear hot pink or something, but that's a really pretty purple and has nothing to do with any of it. But with this fit, it actually looks really well. It like, it looks great on how they styled it. So, uh, shout out to the hairstylist team on that, but great moment, how they all dropped down. I know he's fixing his hat, dance practice, whatever, you know, him having his moment right here. Really nice sliding through having only a couple people slide through to really create that transition I think is totally fine but yeah the waving through is they all go boom and they drop down he does a little wave so it's a little different but hitting a different part of the music very polyrhythmic as a group that slide through was nice but also I think my big note that I'm going to give them I'm going to go ahead and just say it uh <clears throat> it's just a note to just be looking at not only is it their arms their torso is super stiff and I still, and I feel it from just the dance performances. I remember saying that. I still see it here. I do chalk it up to whenever they're performing. Like when they're featured and they're singing, it makes sense why they're a little bit more uh, stiff. But everybody else should have way more looseness in opposition whenever you're hitting a type of groove. Certain grooves, like an alpha, you got to have opposition of that torso. Just keeping your torso where it is. It, it, keeping it really stiff, it just makes it look so militant and very, um, it's just lifeless. Like you, the torso brings life to the extremities, you know, your heart's in your torso for a reason, you know, but, uh, I'm, I'm saying that in all of this, it does feel disconnected in this verse specifically because I'm noticing it more here, uh, in the content, there's a lot of disconnect between the torso and the extremities. Even that pull through, there wasn't any energy pulling through. It just felt like a mix of modifying for the sake of the camera angle or what. But it doesn't feel like we're we're pushing energy forward like we need to be. That turn right there was was that turn, boom, and then he caught it, brought it down, bringing it back right there. So we do a little nay nay, and then they had a they had a they doubled up on a tick to come out of it. That right there, boom baby, boom baby, treasure. I know they used it in a challenge for Say My Name. That treasure, they added this, uh, it's that front glide, that boom, boom. So, <clears throat> I'm not going to talk about that move situation until we get to Say My Name. And if you've already, if you want to actually hear my thoughts about the whole case from, from the side of, just from both sides, uh, you can, I, I can, um, it's from, 
Street Man Fighter. I, I talked about it there on one of those videos. Say my name, Glide. Is that what I'm going to call it? It's just a front glide with their arm up. They put that there in Treasure. So, mm, it gives me very interesting thoughts. Please hold. So, I just, I tried to do some digging and I couldn't figure out who choreographed this one. I don't know when Anjay came in. to. I know he did say my name in Illusion, maybe, and a couple others. I don't know, but I don't know if he was a part of this because I can't the internet's not telling me so if you are if you've been a follower of ATs can you please tell me who choreographed this track and go ahead and let me know about Pirate King 2 I know I'm gonna probably get to that one today hopefully um go ahead and let me know about those that would be great because um that's gonna refine my thoughts for a future a future video with ATs um based on based on that answer so but moving on from here um Having a little moment, dropping it down into more like a little Millie Rock transition, bringing it back up. More like that shoot, boom, boom, with a double swing. That was nice. Picking it up, boom, da 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 da. Very, very quick, trying to hit on the da 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 da, trying to hit that rhythmic pattern. It's really nice. Uh, but notice how they're how they're hitting it. It's just just being a little bit more mindful of the uh, just the range of it because it does feel a little bit like it's getting caught versus we're really fully extending that hit every time they're hitting it. So that's just my overall note. That little bump, bump, bump. Yeah, I do feel like that part, there was an interesting hold that happened there that I feel like could have been, we could have made a different choice. You know, but going from here, bump, bump, bump. It's still really nice. Um, but actually, now that I see with the feature, I think it looks fine. I was just isolating my my sight to the to the dancers and not the feature. But seeing what the feature did and seeing how they complemented it, it's fine. That switch over, great that he did a turn and they all did more of a cross step to raise. Nice where he takes it and drops them all down. Really great usage of their levels. Then having the transition there, having one of them be a little bit higher than everybody else, who's obviously a lot lower. That's great. Yeah, that bum bum da 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 da. Mm hmm. With the two hits, boom boom. Some of them chose to do more like a stroke. Some of them did more of a uh, adding an extra bounce to it. And so it's just little little details like that could affect it. Yeah, bum da 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 da. Now this is gonna be my first pop quiz for myself. This person right here with the crazy hat on. Um. Is that Son? Because I've seen Son. I think it's his face that I'm trying to recognize because he has bulked up. I know that. I knew that going in that Son, because of the comments, purposely bulked up so he can interpret Crump more effectively and hit more of those masculine styles. It worked. It's great. He's doing great here. I'm assuming that's Son just based off of his face. We'll see. But I have no idea. But how they branched it out and how they went over to the sides. <clears throat> having your feature in the center, that was a really great way to not really have anybody one, two, three, four, five. And then I would say he needs to move over ever so slightly so it's even on both sides because we see him peek over, but we don't only see the shoulder of our other guy. So that's my note there on the formation. That boom, do, do, do. So I can already tell they're doing a lot of more um, usage of the back to try to get some of these motions going up, very similar to Crump, which I like though. That turn, my, my note still stands. The choreography does feel very um, stiff in the torso. So I don't know if that's a choreographic choice. If that is the case, I would suggest choreographically to add some sense of opposition. You can still maintain the line to be a little bit straighter, but you could still offset it. So if we have more more range in the mo in the movement versus just going up and down and really and making it look like a marked range check. So dropping it down was really nice, bleeding it up, that boom 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 and hit that was a little bit cleaner. This section was a lot cleaner. But we still see that same that same instance there. Yep, some of them really threw it up and drop it down. Some of them only kept it here. Then whoa, some you got whoa, whoa. Could be difference between those who are used to carrying a microphone and those who are not. There's also that. <coughs> every day, every day, great transition. And then of course we're melting through. Oh, some of them chose to use their head. Some chose to use the full body. That was nice. Da, 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 da. 
Now, instead of going, yeah, they're going, yeah, yeah. So they're doubling it up. So it's interesting. Da, 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 yeah, yeah. It's just, that's just a little, you take the choreography and you innovate it just a little bit. I really like that choice. That turn, we saw that earlier with my uh, Mr. Mr. Purple Man, as what I'm going to call him until somebody gives me his name, which Patreon probably will within the next couple of videos that I post. So thank you. Hopefully I'll try to remember. Um, but uh, we saw him do that earlier and it was nice to see him do it here, but he approached it a little different. His was a little more full in that transition. It's still nice though. They take it, boom, 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 and the pull. Nice, go into the straight line. Now they go and they switch. Now having this moment here. Melting through, bleeding through. Having this moment. Now they're all kind of moving in the back, so that would just be a, they need to be very still. If you're wanting to maintain only three people being seen or showcase, no one else should be moving, fixing, adjusting. Even though we know it's a dance practice, still you you are being recorded, and part of it is you really want to avoid those little things because those can turn into habits that you end up doing on stage. We have studio we have studio dancers all the time. So they play with their hair, they fix their skirt, they they do all sorts of stuff, and we tell them like that's what you're gonna do on stage, and that's exactly what happens if we don't catch it in the space. So that would be a little note that I would give them is make sure you're not fiddling with anything because you're gonna develop a habit and you're gonna do that even when you're just because you think you're hidden, you're not technically hidden because we see it right here. Great moment. I love how he hits it and then he just very seamlessly takes his hands and he drapes them over to the side, having them move from side to side. Really nice. Yeah, banana and dropping down. Nice as they go out. And notice they have this extra pop of a militant posture. That's really nice. It does add to the section. But some of them are adding extra movements, like looking down, looking over to the side. So that would just, I would hope that we see a little bit more, um, it's not professionalism. No, it's not what it is. It's just commitment. That's what it is. Commitment to the pose without diverting. That's, that's what I wanted to say. Also notice there we were off because we had less people on this side on this side. And you could tell because the angle was slightly off. But they used it to their advantage because of the transition that they just did. He pulled, so they're doing a good job of pulling people away to set up. So they're walking to reset him having his moment, Mr. Purple Haired Man. Yeah, boom, dun, dun, dun. For me, I don't, I don't quite know what the texture was supposed to be for that. Da, 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 da. So it was a mix of like a bum, da, 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 da. So it was kind of riding how he was doing the rhythm. So I'll give it that. That little, da, 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 and then they break it out. Da, 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 da. Really nice. That was fun. Then bring it back in. Boom. Really nice and internal. That was great. Do, 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 do. So they got it from our feature. Then they expanded it out. Then they brought it back in and they created a new texture out of it. That was fun. Having this moment. It's interesting that they all come up. Normally we see like people bounce and then they reset. It's very interesting that they chose to go here and then they just got up and started walking. I, do I feel like it's disconnected? I don't, I don't know. Hold on. Let me look. Uh, they go boom and so they actually throw it and then they walk and because there's a secondary base that happens that's why i feel like did they actually do anything on it they didn't go on the base and normally you see people explode in energy on the base after a moment like that so i i don't know if that was a like a a choice that those actively made in opposition to what normally happens or what that's why it did feel subtly anticlimactic because there was sounds that they could have hit but they did not but I'm gonna put it up to that was purposeful we'll just chalk it up to that all having their moment to breathe he snaps bringing them all in right back into our course but it's a little different more simple it's, it's simpler the groove is really nice we go hey and hey it's just it's nice it's, this was way cleaner notice that but then, like, once we had these grooves, look how clean that was. And then we went, da, da, da. As soon as we hit more of a polyrhythmic perspective is when some of these details started to go away. So that's what I'm looking forward to is seeing that become more refined as they become a group and they get used to each other's movement quality. That right there, he went a little bit too fast, my purple-haired man. He went, da, 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 da. Oh, wait, he also has purple hair. Oh, no. What am I going to do? I also thought about this, too. He's purple right now. He may not have purple hair in the future. And he also has like a lavender. So I'm talking about like this periwinkly blue purple. I really like this. And I feel like I talked about that more than I talked about anything else in this freaking video. Let's move on. So he, uh, but my point was because he was there, 
Really great energy. Notice that he set and he cut off his dip on his left side, which made him look off. But then he got back on. That was nice, too. Vroom. So he does a fabulous job of when he throws his arm. He did it twice now. First in that hinge where he kind of threw it and had that speed change and everybody kind of toppled down in that circle. Great. Then from here, having him throw it and they all had a moment. That was really nice. So I would say out of everybody, he did a very nice job of every feature moment. He had a really nice way of integrating the group. So that was cool. That was cool too. He just drops, boom, boom. You could tell by his hair that the, not the color of the hair, but the fringe and how it lays when it reverbs. That's what I meant. Oh, bless it. So you hear boom, boom. As they come up, you can tell that he's hitting it in the same technique that everybody else is because everybody else's hair is giving them away too if they do not wear a hat. Walking around, having this energy. They're all setting it up. He's having this moment in the center. Da, 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 da. Really nice. So honestly, this was really fun. I do feel that it's a bit off here. We got three over here, two over here, especially because he was our feature. Then I would I would probably want him to drop down just to make this. Even the final pose should be symmetrical because we're going to we're gonna treat it like this is your ending album shot cover. This is your ending fairy, pretty much, right? So it is important to take, pay some sort of attention to it. I would have him drop down. And that would have made this a very, very nice ending formation. But in all, fabulous debut. This is really fun for me. And seeing them from pre-debut, and this is my, this is technically my, my first all the way through. I will say this, I've seen excerpts of AT's choreography, obviously, but I have not seen an entire, this is the first entire group song track reaction analysis. And that was very, very fun for me. Yeah, this is good. So I still, I still ask for those because this is going to be on Patreon way before it'll be on YouTube. Patreon fam, please let me know who choreographed. Just go through the lineup and tell me who choreographed all of the routines. That's going to help me understand if there's a shift in energy I may be able to understand or pick up on that or figure out what movement qualities are kind of replicating over into the other sides <coughs> I feel like I'll be smarter for that thank you guys so much for watching I hope I was helpful in some way really enjoying my time with AT just like I have been on other marathons I'm not only reacting to ATs right now I'm reacting to XG at the same time so I'm getting two completely different realms of investment in the not investment but like uh when they started in the k-pop industry specifically but i know with xg it's a hybrid it's a whole thing like i know that but i just all that to say i think it's really fun that we're looking at it from two different timelines and also they're just two different perspectives of movement and i think that's super fun if you want to see more 80s content 17 content k-pop in general xg dance uh, i mean Anything that's dance related, I try to react to because I really like it because uh, I'm a dancer. So it's really fun. I'm Jess and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye.